This is the uh, uh, Cabela's Alacnac 2 uh, Outfitter Series tent, and uh, this model is the 12 by 20. So that's 12 feet by 20, very large feet. If you'll uh, come around here, I'll, I'll give you a little perspective of how big this tent actually is. We have, it, it's got two poles because it's the, the 20 feet version. The 12, 12 by 12 version only has one pole. You can see this one has two, and we'll show you that on the inside in just a moment. But uh, you can see here that uh, the, the tent has these very sturdy uh, steel side poles for the walls to keep it uh, held up against the wind. The uh, guy lines, uh, we have got all the guy lines installed except for on uh, the, the doors. We have only one on each door and that's just for uh, simplicity. We didn't want to take up the extra time. Uh, but these vents here tied to the guy wires and underneath it there are uh, some vents that you can open up from the inside. They're really uh, quite nice for keeping it uh, uh, cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Uh, the uh, other neat feature, we'll show you this more later, the uh, windows here are zippered on the inside with a fine mesh and then on the outside we've got some uh, clear vinyl to make a window. This being the 12x20 version, uh, we have two doors, one on each side, and both uh, covered with an awning to uh, keep the rain out. You can see it's, uh, that you walk right in. This is, I'm, uh, I'm five foot seven, so you can see I have no problem walking in here. Somebody six feet or more, like uh, Ben, uh, coming over here, Ben, and uh, should have no problem as well. You know, see. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. And how tall are you, Ben? Uh, about six. Six feet. See, so he fits just fine into it. And it goes back far enough that you can see where it's going to keep sand, snow, water uh, uh, out of the, the doorway. And so you can open up the door and have a peek out if it's inclement weather. All right, let's go back around the other side. And I'll, uh, uh, I'll show you. Oh, one, one other thing to note here is the... Uh, the stove jack. This is the outside cover for the stove jack. We'll show you the inside in a moment. Uh, I don't have the stove yet. I'm planning on buying that in a couple of weeks. Um, there are different size stoves you can get for it, but uh, um, that's definitely a good addition to the to the tent. Okay, as you can see from the inside of this uh, monster, it's a it's a really rather large tent. Uh, the poles are nine feet tall and there, there are two of them. So you have a very tall ceiling, as you can see over here. Uh, and the six foot Sasquatch in the corner, you can see has no problem standing around. The walls are five feet, uh, uh, five feet tall. Um, very spacious floor. Uh, this, is the, this is the stove jack uh, that I showed you from, from the outside. So if you have a stove, here on the floor, there's a zippered, uh, a zippered pocket that you can, as you can see. You open it all the way up, roll it back, and you set the stove here, and the pipe goes right here. Uh, it is lined with uh, fire uh, retardant material, and the rubber grommet is uh, heat resistant. Um, these are, as I told you, the, the little awnings outside. You open up these vents, and uh, it helps keep condensation out. It keeps uh, cool air blowing in. We like to go uh, uh, camping on uh, North Padre Island in the extreme heat in the, in the sand. So uh, this will be perfect for that because it'll keep this very fine mesh. It'll keep the sand out and let the, the uh, cool air in uh, where otherwise it would just bake. And to aid in that, we have two other features. If you see up here at the top by the pole, we have uh, some vents up at, at the top, two on each pole. Uh, which of course allows the, the heat to circulate out. And then, as we can see here, you have these vents that again uh, are protected by that, uh, that awning over the door. And this allows the uh, condensation to leave the, the tent and not uh, condense in the walls. If, for those of you who use propane heaters, um, most propane heaters in this type of material uh, would cause you to, uh, to get condensation on the inside of the walls. Uh, you don't have that problem with this vent, and there's one on either side. And again, you can see since it's such a large tent, we do have two doors, which I thought was a fantastic feature. Um, the uh, uh, windows here, I showed you from the outside, you can see that they work great as windows right here. And the, and the, uh, the 
plastic is on the outside and it's, as you can see Ben is going to uh, remove the vinyl and it just rolls up and clips in which is a wonderful feature again for whatever kind of weather you're, you're uh, encountering. If it's rainy, you can still have the windows open and, and see outside and get the light on the inside. Uh, but if it's hot outside, uh, which it is not right now, but if it's hot outside, you can leave the, uh, uh, the windows open. And this is very fine mesh. Again, it'll keep the sand out and, and uh, let air in. Um, again, we have four of these you can see and uh, we've also got <laughs> these crazy cup holders that one's a little bit more uh, so this one is just flat. you can set your uh, set your cup in here set uh, gloves over here uh, Ben's got his little knit cap in there put your cell phones change and whatever you bring on a hunting trip along with you um, and uh, and that's about it there are some other features to this tent or, or uh, additions to this tent that I'm going to get, uh, add-ons like the floor liner. I strongly suggest one of those or, or buying some uh, uh, indoor-outdoor carpet. Um, then, uh, the again, as I mentioned, the stove. Um, they've got a few other things. Uh, a liner for the, for the uh, roof, if you do get a stove. There's an exterior liner that you can put on the outside that uh, uh, stops any sparks from burning through the, the top of the roof. And uh, that is about it for the Cabela's Alacnac 2 uh, uh, 12 by 20 Outfitter Series 10.